another day of quarantine here so uh, figured I'd try and make another video and uh, see how that goes uh, we are going to uh, take a look at my boat the 2020 Bass Cat Pantera Classic and uh, well yep yeah, just let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll give you an overview right, we're gonna try this again uh, second take of trying to make a video of the Bass Cat Pantera Classic 2020 uh, picked this boat up at Limit Out Marine in Washington and uh, so let's uh, do an overview of the boat I'm meant to be a long video just kind of want to show you guys the boat in case you're looking to get into a Bass Cat or considering a Pantera Classic uh, so I've got uh, a few options on the boat um, so we've got the uh, on the prop I went with the uh, 23 pitch fury which was what was recommended by uh, Bass Cat uh, they told me to go with the 23 they said it would be a good prop so far it has worked well uh, had a 24 Tempest on there before um, had some issues getting the boat to lift uh, I'm gonna try that I'll probably try that prop again someday just to see if it was me or if it was the prop um, but we have this on here now and it's working well, so I don't see any need to change it uh, With this prop and the jack plate here uh, Set at uh, Just the factory settings. I haven't messed with it at all where it came from the factory and I'm getting 70 71 miles an hour and uh, there's still a lot of room to go just haven't had the right conditions to uh, get uh, a, a little bit more speed yet so uh, again we, so we've got the mercury 200 pro access on the boat with the, with that manual jack plate I went with the dual 8 foot power pole blades um, felt like the 8 to 10s would were just kind of too much I didn't want something sticking up that tall and the local lake here there's a couple bridges I like to sneak under and and whatnot so uh, having eight foot is kind of key and uh, any deeper than that then you can just use the spot lock on the trolley motor so um, let's go I, I've got a uh, down here we've got I'll show you guys because everybody's always asking I just went with the Russell Marine products uh, transom mount here to hold the motor Um, and then that's pretty much that, you know, the ladder and we went with the uh, dual axle uh, and then the sta this boat comes standard with a three inch frame. I decided just to stay with that instead of upgrading to the four inch frame. It was going to add a lot of extra money. And uh, after talking with Bass Cat, they told me it's really not necessary and the three inch will hold up just fine. So then we just upgraded to the tandem axle uh, just because it'll tow better. And uh, I've never towed with a single axle trailer. My previous boat and any work trailers that I've ever used for work have all been tandem axle trailers. So I just wanted to stick with that. Uh, let's walk up to the front and uh, take a look at a couple features and then move inside so up front I just uh, kept the standard Fulton jack that uh, comes standard with the boat didn't upgrade it uh, standard winch and then does have a swing away tongue which comes standard on the boat and then this step here which is actually pretty handy I opted to not get the steps that go up into the boat uh, I just thought they weren't necessary for my needs. Uh, let's go inside the boat and uh, we'll start from the back and uh, work our way through all the compartments and everything and show you guys uh, the inside of the boat. So we got the back deck of the boat here, got the two live well compartments and then uh, the storage compartments. And then we got the back here take a look inside pretty standard I've got a 
toolbox in the back. Uh, I just keep that strapped into a battery tray, and that seems to be working pretty well. I'm just running a 80 pound thrust trolley motor, so I just have the two batteries and then the one starter battery, uh, AGM batteries, and then just a couple accessories in here. And then in the back, two storage compartments. Um, I'm keeping all my soft plastics back here in this compartment. Uh, just seemed like I was putting a lot of weight up in the front so I moved some of it to the back and then have this side here where I just keep uh, random stuff and uh, my non-boater co-angler can keep their uh, tackle bag in that compartment if they need to. Uh, there's a lot of space in here I mean you can see I've got whole bunch of soft plastics in here and I could fit probably three or four times this amount in the compartment. I need to let it dry out apparently. So we'll just leave those out here for now I guess. And then let's take a look at the live well. It's more of a storage compartment since uh, we're on a ban and can't uh, go fishing right now. Anyways, so there's the live wells. Uh, you can see they're super deep and uh, plenty big to meet all your needs. Uh, got plenty of room in there for uh, five fish. Alright, we'll go on to the seats here. So you'll notice uh, on the seats, they're, uh, I need to clean them, but they might look a little bit different to you than the uh, what you might see if you just go to the sh uh, your dealer and look at a classic or look online. Um, that was one of the tough deciding factors for me in which boat I got. I really wanted a Bass Cat. I really didn't like the seats on the Pantera Classic, I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, and if they wouldn't have changed the seats, I probably would have gone a different route because I needed a boat to fit in my budget and I uh, really wanted this boat to fit in my budget, but I also needed the seats changed. So uh, luckily, Limit Out Marine, uh, you know, they're a very good dealer and they, on my behalf, they contacted Bass Cat and they actually got them to uh, modify the seats for me so there's probably at least twice as much cushioning in these seats so they're a lot more comfortable um, and yeah they're just a lot nicer seat than what comes standard so if you are looking at this boat and you know if you didn't like the seats uh, I would certainly ask your dealer if they can contact Basscat and uh, see if they'll make a custom seat for you they may or may not um, I think I got lucky on that one but so all the seats have storage underneath so all right back in here uh, i just keep uh this is a wego uh, fire extinguisher mer um, first aid kit spare trolley motor prop um, some other random stuff in there and then same underneath the driver's seat opens up as well. I just keep all my hats and gloves and things in there. And then this is an option. Uh, it comes with a center console or uh, you can have a seat put here too, but um, the center step, this is a custom center step. So uh, you can open up this latch here and then Inside, I just keep my SD cards, you know, keys, all 
whatever things I need quick access to, phone, all that stuff. And then we can open up as well and more storage underneath. I mostly just keep my culling equipment and whatever I throw in there. And then here at the console, uh, we've got tilt trim. Uh, then I've got the trim lever. Went with that option for the motor. So I can turn the motor up and down from there instead of having to use the handle. We got the hot foot down below so that uh, yeah. uh, it's just, I, in my opinion, it's easier to drive with a hot foot. Um, and then we've got the 12 inch Hummingbird Helix graph up front as well. Oh, and then this is actually really handy. So if you haven't seen these, it's called like a steely mount. It's a magnetic mount. Uh, you can attach anything to it. I use it for my phone. I can hit the roughest wave on the lake and my phone will not come off of that mount. So uh, yeah, definitely put one of those on your boat if you need a solution for storing your phone uh, and you want to keep it out. This is a live well, or a, sorry, this is a cooler. Uh, it's pretty big, goes back there a good amount. up on the front deck but uh so front deck's really big the front deck on the pantera classic is actually larger than the front deck on the era and the era is a larger boat um i believe it's wider uh it's definitely a lot longer and then the back deck on the era is a lot larger but the front deck on the pantera classic is very large for a 19 and a half foot bass boat uh, and that's just because they carry the beam really far forward and uh, so that was one of the main reasons why I was really attracted to this model was just because of the amount of space that there is on the front deck, even compared to a 20 footer. So let's take a look at inside some of the rod lockers. So uh, I keep all my rods stored uh, in this port side compartment here. You can see there's plenty of room to keep all the rods that you're gonna need. I also keep my net down in there and anything else I might need. Uh, it has a clip here on the side to store your nav light, uh, which is a nice feature. All the carpeted compartment. And then we go over to the uh, center, which is the uh, I guess kind of considered the actual rod locker, but this is where I store all my tackle um, You could keep your rods and your tackle in here technically, so it's that's actually really big um, I can fit just tons and tons and tons of boxes Inside this compartment now and then you can see there's the rod tubes here so you can have your rods uh, up to like 10 rods or so going across the top of the compartment and then keep all your tackle below if you want. I don't keep any rods in here, I just throw tackle inside. And coming over to the starboard side, we've got another large compartment here. Uh, again, it's a little bit disorganized, uh, haven't been on the water and just when I do I go out I just grab stuff and throw it in the boat without taking anything out so there's a I've got there's a lot of room in here you know I keep a lot of line in these plastic containers there's just tons and tons of line in here uh, another whole big container of line uh, all kinds of stuff uh, plenty of storage inside there and then up here, uh, got the forward most locker. I keep PFDs, rain gear, more PFDs, jackets, more rain gear, floaty. 
and uh, I just throw all my you know, super glue and scents and all that into this compartment. So I kind of like that this is separated and not just one long compartment so I can kind of detail things up a little bit more and uh, keep things a little bit better organized. And then up front, we've got the uh, Minn Kota Ultrax. And uh, then I'm just running uh, one Hummingbird Helix on the uh, balls out mount. And I do have a 360, uh, but I don't have all the cables for it. And then we've got a Hydro Wave as well and then just the power pole buttons and that's pretty much it for the basket pantera classic all right guys let me know what you guys think of the boat and uh if you have any questions or anything if you want to see anything different uh i can definitely help you out with that all right later